Hello, today I'm going to read a portion of scripture from the book of Philippians chapter 3 where Paul is giving us a warning and it reads this way. Finally, my brethren, rejoice in the Lord for me to write the same thing to you is not tedious or redundant or hard, but for you it is safe or beneficial. Here's the warning. Beware of dogs, beware of evil workers, beware of the mutilation. What an interesting way to give a warning through those different categories. And he wasn't referring to our furry friends that we all love and <laughs> adore. What he was saying is those, uh, there are people out there and they're going to prey on your newfound faith in Christ. There are those that their intentions are not good, but they're evil. There are those that want to bring you back under the law and have you to be circumcised. And he says, watch out for these type of of individuals and he categorized them as as a dog as an evil worker and as a mutilator but he's not giving us three different c categories of people what he's describing is someone with a legalistic or a pharisaical mindset uh, and he just uses those three uh, warnings uh, and and uses those uh, uh, as metaphors to help us to understand these are the kind of people, these are the kind of individuals that you've got to watch out for because they're out there. Uh, when they find out that you've come to faith in Christ, they're going to try to pull you back and, and pray on your newfound faith. They're going to be like a wet blanket at a parade. Uh, and, and watch out for them. They're, they're not good people, their intentions are not for your, your well-being, but for your harm. And he said, and you're going to recognize them because they're going to try to pull you back into the old ways of doing things, back into the law. And uh, so when, when we understand what he's saying, I, I think we get an idea also that in our society, sometimes we use the word dogs uh, in, in referring uh, to very similar things. We, we say, you know, like these are the dog days of summer. We say it's a dog eat dog world. Uh, we say, hey, certain individuals have, have gone to the dogs. Uh, they, even sometimes we say, you know, that's a, that guy right there, he's a dirty dog. And, <laughs> and when you understand that, that Paul is saying this to try to help us, uh, uh, consider this. He knows what he's talking about because he was in that category. He was a legalist. He was a Pharisee. He, he was one that was preying on the faith of others. He was one that was trying to pull people back in, in, to the law. He, he was causing harm for individuals. How did he categorize himself? I, I find this to be interesting. Paul, as a Pharisee, knew the letter but not the spirit. And, and he, he wasn't really a very merciful or gracious person. And then the next thing is that he was heady, he was high-minded, he, he was haughty. We could say he was just proud. He was uh, fault-finding and critical and condescending. Uh, and, uh, but what made the difference? What made the difference in the Apostle Paul? What made a difference is, is when he encountered Jesus. And he tells us about it in Titus chapter 3 and verse 7. He says, But when the kindness and the love of God our Savior appeared towards all men, not by works of righteousness, which we have done, but according to his mercy, he saved us through the washing of the regeneration and renewing of the Holy Spirit, whom he poured out on abundantly to all of us through Jesus Christ our Lord. What made the difference from Paul being the dog, being the Pharisee, to Paul being a champion for the kingdom of God? The same thing that happened to you and I. We encountered Jesus. You know, when people are pharisaical or legalistic towards you, point them to the grace of God. Point them to the mercy of God. And then they can encounter the living Savior, the resurrected Savior. And He can make all things new in their life. They can move from being a legalist and from self-righteousness to being right with God through Christ our Lord. So, beware of dogs. God bless you. Have a great day.